This Yu-Gi-Oh card is literally impossible to summon. And the question is, can I do it? Without further ado, let's begin! What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Samurai X1 here. Happy Monday! In today's video, I have an impossible Yu-Gi-Oh challenge. You guys are probably wondering, what impossible monster am I going to be summoning today? Well, let me tell you. Today, I'm going to try to summon one of Yu-Gi's ace monster, the Dark Sage. If you guys don't know what Dark Sage does, this card is arguably one of the hardest Yu-Gi-Oh monsters to ever summon. Dark Sage has an effect where it reads, cannot be normal summoner set, must first be special summoned from your hand or deck by attributing one Dark Magician immediately after applying the effect of Time Wizard, in which you call the coin toss right. When this card is special summoned this way, add one spell card from your deck to your hand. The only issues with this card is that there is no way in Yu-Gi-Oh to rig a coin toss. So literally, this card summon is based on chance. And if you guys are a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh anime, this card was shown on episode number 34. Today, we're going to try to recreate the anime moment and try to summon Dark Sage. And the question is, is it possible? Before we get started to this video, here is the winner of the last $50 free gem giveaway. Screenshot that screen, send it to me. Let me know what region you're in and the system you play on. And please send me a verification of your account. If you're not the winner, don't email me, okay? Thank you so much for all your support, your thumbs up, your subscribing. You guys literally mean the world to me. And in today's video, I'm giving $50 worth of free gems to one lucky winner who is subscribed to the channel, who likes the video, and turns on the bell. This thing is very important. Turn on the notification bell to get notified on every single time I upload banger videos like these. And the last thing, very important, guys. Today, I'm going to be trying to summon Dark Sage. So I want you guys to leave in a comment on what other impossible monsters you guys want me to summon next. Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, don't waste any of your time. Time Wizard, Dark Magician, Dark Sage, let's go. Can we summon the hardest Yu-Gi-Oh monster of all time? which is Mr. Dark Sage himself. Without further ado, let's begin. I'm going first. Yes. That means he's playing a going second deck. We can set up a couple interruptions right here, which is absolutely phenomenal. So I am ready for this. I am really ready for this. Here we go. Dra. Okay. All right, guys. So we are lit. We got Maxi, Time Wizard, Dark Magical Circle, Soul Servant, and Trento Tribute. We can actually win this. Let's Dark Magical Circle first. Let's see what we get. Because on the following turn, we can just Soul Servant to get what we want, right? Oh, Magician Souls. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, my God. We know we're drawing Souls next. We're going to set this, set this, and end our turn. So we have Torrential set with a Soul Servant, and we have Maxi in our hand. What is our opponent playing? Great Hero. Oh, very obvious. Oh, Great Hero. Uh, what are you playing? Morphtronics? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maxi! We're going to wait till he overextends because Hero has no negates. I think he should stop. Hero has no negates. No negates at all. They have no negates. Here we go, guys. We need Dark Magician and Time Wizard. Can this happen? Please. Shadow Miss. Oh. <gasps> Dark Law. No. I hate Dark Law. I genuinely hate Dark Law. I don't like Dark Law. I don't like Dark Law at all. I hate Dark Law. I think he's gonna pass. Battle phase. Yes. Sets one. Definitely a mass change. Oh my god. We know that we're gonna draw into a Torrential or Dogmatic of Punishment next. We don't want that to happen. To stack Magician's Rod. We know that's a mass change. Oh my god. His hand must be all hand traps or bricks. Okay, guys. Activate Magician Souls. It is a cost ascent to the graveyard. It is now or never. Dark Magical Circle. We're going to target the Shadow Mist. He's going to chain into Dark Law. All right, guys. It is now. Now or never. Here we go, guys. That's fine. I don't like the look of this. Dark Law. Shadow Mist, we get to search. Point Honest Neils. We still get to draw off Soul Servant, which is not that bad. But now it is now or never. Ooh. Oh my god. All right, guys. It is now or never. Normal Summon Time Wizard. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. 
Here we go. Time wizard. Please. Time wizard. Time wizard. Please. Heads or tails. Heads or tails. Heads. Heads. Always heads. Heads. Always heads. Always heads. Yes! 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 Activate Dark Sage from my deck! Yes! We did it! 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 Summon the Dark Sage! Oh my god! Oh my god! Summon Dark Sage! Activate Dark Sage! You can add any spell card from our deck to our hand! Oh my god! Oh my god! We're doing. My god! Oh my god! I'm gonna search Salvation. Okay. Oh my god. We summoned Dark Sage, guys. We did it. We get to activate Salvation. Okay, cool. We get to activate Salvation. Uh, yes, yeah, set a trap card with Eternal Soul. We have a disruption with Dark Sage, okay? Holy smokes, we did it. Oh my god. That was oh my god. That was the, the luck of the draw. Now we're gonna go Soul Servant effect. Banish yourself from the graveyard to draw a card. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Maxi against heroes. Oh my God. This is going to be an uphill battle, guys. But we got this. We got Trencho and Eternal Soul. Here we go. Dark Sage attack for 2,800. Here we go. Time Wizard attack for 500. Oh my God. I totally forgot. He's only at 1,200. Totally missed that. Here we go, guys. We're going to go to main phase two. We have an interruption. We have two interruptions. But now, okay, this is the time. Oh my god, do I just keep Dark Sage in the field? No, do I keep Dark Sage in the field? And the answer is, guys, I think the best way to win is we need to protect ourselves as much as possible. But I do want to summon Dark Sage. I, I want to summon him. I, I I do want to keep him. Is there any way for me to, to just keep him on the field? There's just no way. I'm not going to go IP. I'm just going to end my turn. That's it. We have Max E. And we have Eternal Soul. We're going to save Eternal Soul for when it matters most. Okay, here we go. Please break. Please tell me he has all the bricks in his hand. We have Maxi. I'm pretty sure he's not stop under Maxi. Maxi is like their weakness. They're 100% main weakness right here. He's at 700 life. We got Ferris. Oh, <sighs> guys, my heart is beating so fast. He sent Maxi. I want to finish the game with Dark Sage. I want to finish the game with Dark Sage. <clears throat> Maxi resolves. Ferris comes out. Guys, until right now, the biggest weakness. When it comes to, um, hold up, hold up. Is he going to stop though? He normal summons Vion. Oh my God. He's under max C by the way. So I want to see if he's going to be able to continue through this. But our next turn is going to be amazing guys. Time wizard saved us right there. Shout out to Joey. Channel miss activates. That's fine. Ooh, liquid soldier. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe that was... Oh, my God. Maybe... Oh, no, no. There's no way. Because he was going to get polymerization regardless, right? Oh, I need a way to stop polymerization. I needed a way to stop polymerization. Okay. This is not looking good for us, guys. It's not looking good for us. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Sunrise comes out. We drew another time wizard. We need to use Trencho, guys. We need to. I'm so sorry. I really wish I could keep Dark Sage on the field just for the theme. Oh, my God. Oh, bye, Dark Sage. Oh, my God. We, we accomplished it, though. We summoned Dark Sage. We summoned him. <clears throat> he still gets Miracle Fusion. That's fine. He also gets to activate Liquid Soldier. That's fine as well. Um, as long as he doesn't draw mass change, I think we're pretty much in a great position to win the duel. He's under max C though, so I want to see if he's still going to be able to continue throughout the max C. I, I think as think I think he should because at this point he's at 700, right? He, like he, he he can just lose in an instant. Or maybe he can try to set up an unbreakable board at this point. Miracle fusion, that's fine. Yep, banish those two. Dark law. Whoa, that's interesting. Absolute zero. Oh, so he said you guys know must first be fusion summon. This card leaves the field, destroy all monster report controls. Okay. So he's gonna go, oh wow. So he's not gonna continue, continue further that. He can go, I can go eternal soul. Uh we can special summon dark magician for my hand or grave. Okay, cool. Activate dark magical circle. Banish the absolute zero. Cool. 
Yep, he's going to be destroyed by Dark Magicians, but he can because of the Eternal Souls effect. Every Dark Magician in, the, every, in your monster zone is unaffected by opponent card effect. Here we go, guys. Sets one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, guess what? We can actually use... <gasps> Oh my god, this is gonna be epic, guys. This is gonna be so epic. Oh my god, guys. We're gonna do something crazy. Oh my god, this is such an anime moment right here. We're gonna go this. Activate this. We can't know what's anymore. We're gonna activate Soul Servant. We're gonna stack Magician Souls to the top of our deck. Okay, wow. And now we get to activate Soul Servant to banish itself. Okay. To stack on top of our deck. To draw the card that we stacked, which is Magician Souls. Now we get to activate Magician Soul's effect. Okay. We get to special summon this card by sending Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard. Oh my god. Okay. Summon, of course. Summon Magician Souls. Now what we get to do is that we get to activate right here Eternal Soul's effect. Special summon a Dark Magician from our hand. This is a whole Time Wizard episode, guys. Oh my god. I'm, I'm excited for this. Dark Magician comes out, triggering off our circle and also our salvation right here. So is going to banish this card right here that's on the field. Very curious to see what it is. Magician's in Sal Salvation is going to activate. Target this card right here. <clears throat> uh, two Specimen Dark Magician Girl from our graveyard. Okay, so this Salvation brings out Dark Magician Girl. Okay, cool. And Circle banishes this. I'm curious. Dark Calling. He bricked. He bricked. Now we get to activate Secrets of Dark Magic right here. If you just summon the monster from our extra deck, we're going to use Time Wizard. Oh my god! Time Wizard and Dark Magician Girl make Time Wizard of tomorrow! Let's go! Yes! This is our insurance policy, okay? Red Eyes Flare, Metal Dragon. This is our insurance policy. Time Wizard of tomorrow. Here we go. We're going to call heads all the way. If we call it wrong, I lose damage, but Red Eyes doesn't get destroyed. But if I call it right, he loses the damage and, and he loses the duel. <gasps> Heads! Heads! <coughs> That's okay. Oh, that would have been so much more epic if we just had game there. Battle phase. Ah, oh, that was a good insurance policy, right, guys? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. We did it. That was of the most craziest anime moment I've ever had in my entire life. All right, guys. So we did it. This was the deck list that I used to summon Dark Sage. So obviously, in comparison to all my other Dark Magician builds, I'll be completely honest. This isn't the most competitive version of Dark Magician. But it doesn't matter. Because what we're trying to do in this video was to accomplish the impossible, which is relying on my boy, Time Wizard. To trigger off of course dark sage so obviously this card is one of the hardest cards to summon in the entire game hands down and the reason why it's super hard is because this card is super reliant on chance chance has to be on your side you need to call the correct heads or tails and if you call it right while time wizard and dark magician is on the field you basically get to summon this bad boy directly from the deck so we did it today honestly this is just a troll tactic. If I can summon Dark Sage, I can just search Dying Kettle directly from the deck to the hand, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately, I didn't. I searched an extender instead, which is, of course, Salvation, which is completely fine. But the whole point is was that it can just search any small card once it summons itself out, right? Which is really, really good. So we got, of course, Dark Magician and Souls and Rod. And with the addition to all these new Dark Magician cards, alongside Time Wizard, it makes it easier for you to summon Dark Sage because Dark Magician can be summoned out every single time, right? With Eternal Soul, and you can use Soul to summon it. There are so many ways to get access to Dark Magician on the field. But what's really, really cool is that if we were to fail, the only chances that we were to have was to obviously wait till next turn, which isn't the greatest, but we do have a lot of cards which help counter our opponent. So that way that we can just set up our board once again the following turn if we were to fail uh, the call with Time Wizard, right? That's why we play three Time Wizard. And we also play an Extender, which is Monster Reborn. So if it needs to be, we need to use this effect twice in one turn. And we have Reborn. Reborn, baby. Time Wizard. Let's do it all over again, which is really, really cool. So next for the extra deck, of course, Double Entis for the Punishment play. We got, of course, Time Wizard over tomorrow, man. Oh, oh. That, it was a big brain play on my end to overlay uh, the two Dark Magician to summon, of course, Red Eyes Flare Metal because this card can't be destroyed by card effects just in case we fail, right? So you need to have like critical thinking that way in Yu-Gi-Oh! where, you know, you need to ensure that, okay, if you want to play some cool gimmicks, 
what happens if it fails right so red eyes flare metal dragon just saved my entire life from game uh dark magician of course big eye ebon red eyes flare shall to discard right here zeus link spider link rebel phoenix ip unicorn selene and of course access code thrown off for all the monsters that were playing in the extra deck i really hope you guys enjoyed this challenge because i had so much fun and i was on my toes the entire time trying to summon dark sage this is arguably one of the hardest monsters to ever summon in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. and if you guys have any other cards you guys want me to summon let me know in the comments from below and also at the same time if you haven't entered the 50 dollars free gem giveaway all you guys gotta do is subscribe to the channel like the video and turn on the Turn on the bell. It'll be absolutely amazing. Leave a comment in the comments from below on what impossible monsters you guys want me to summon next. Let me know in the comments from below what you guys want to see. So you guys will have a chance to win $50 worth of free gems. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.